drop kick. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. Guys, I have a feeling this is the type of match we'll go back and look at Ouch. three or four times over the course of next week. Oh, no! There it is. And with ligaments being tested, you have to wonder how long this can go on. Nice move. And he just found out that's not the place you want to be. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Dropped by a clothesline. starting to stall a bit here to be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match oh. is too much for him to overcome. Well, this certainly oh. escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. The belly to back suplex. Nice. Just look at this man. He's all business. And he lands a nasty roundhouse kick. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. What does our truth have to do with this point to stay in this match? This might be it. Oh my. But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, can you believe that? There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Forearm right to the jaw, stunned him! He's not looking like himself here. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, we need to resolve it right away. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's delivering an old-fashioned ah. butt kicking right here. Ooh, what an air cut. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. There may be no coming back from this. He has got to do something quick. Whether you love him or hate him, if you're Man. human, you have to feel for him right now. He is a one-man gang in there. And it's reversed. 
avoids trouble there. I don't think he can take any more. Tag made. Snapmare down. Bull had a steam. Oh. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Here we go a second time. Gets the tag. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Ain't no stopping him now. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Nicely done. Get this guy some smelling salts. This might be it. Oh, my. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Damage is taking a toll. Oh, and he reverses it. Starting to stagger a bit. Can be expected when you combine six of WWE's most powerful oh, forces into one match. Nothing to worry about here, Cole. Yeah, but if you count them out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. I don't think he can take any more. Get this guy some smelling salts. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. Back in the ring again. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. He's fighting from underneath. Tagged in. Oh, that's not going to be... Good. This is not going to be good. He's fighting from underneath. He's starting to feel it here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. You know, there's an art to being a successful tag team competitor. And right now, he resembles more of a finger painter. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. Big move coming up. in off the tag. Teamwork at its best. Inching closer to... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting from underneath. Our truth seems to be really worn out. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is oh. pretty tough to watch. Really struggling now. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Yikes. Perfectly executed. He is a one-man game. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, the reversal by our truth. He's fighting from underneath. That lands. Starting to struggle. He's fighting from underneath. No reverses it. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Our troop with a nice reversal. Ain't no stopping him now. Caught. He isn't showing much life here, guys. <laughs> what a forearm. He looks a bit off his game here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. I still don't understand how this match is even going on. Nice. I'm not for sure it was over when he executed his finisher earlier. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. He's fighting from underneath. Something that a 
is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. With such authority. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, he is one. Message delivered. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up for the move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. He is a one-man gang in there. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, the reversal by R-Truth. Check out R-Truth's offense. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced... It doesn't look like she wants to come down anytime soon. Oh, boy. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. What are we going to see here? Look at the power. Uh, nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who've had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a... What a six-man tag match. showing there and root to the win. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. I wasn't completely convinced these three were on the same page throughout the entire match, but they were certainly able to overcome any potential issues to pick up the win.